It is not the beauty of a building you should look at. It is the construction of the foundation that will stand the test of time. My name is Engineer Dean Olaretimi, popularly known as the Dean of Real Estate. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all over the world. This is my Thought and Learn Series 10, and I'm going to be discussing everything you need to know about RAF Foundation. Though I'm going to be telling you so many things about foundation, but I'm going to, you know, focus on RAF Foundation. I want you to first of all check down you see subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and for those that have subscribed for all the questions for all the messages for all the calls thank you so much I really love you guys God is going to continue to honor everyone and for those that have yet to subscribe please click the subscription button right now and also check beside the subscription button you will see a notification bell click on it so that anytime I post any video you'll be the first to know Okay, I'm going to be talking about everything you need to know about RAF Foundation. Uh, in building construction, we have um, two main parts. Okay, we have the substructure and we also have the superstructure. All right, okay, let me just... Substructure um, is um, the foundation that is below the ground level. All right, why the superstructure is above the ground level okay which means if you have the ground level all right the one below is the substructure and the one above is the superstructure okay i'm going to stop there so what is raft foundation you know raft foundation is actually a thick concrete slab resting on a large area of soil reinforced with steel supporting columns or walls and transfer loads from the structure to the soil. Usually, rough foundation is spread over the entire area of the structure it is supporting. So, generally, um, rough foundation is used to support structures like residential, commercial buildings where the soil condition is poor. You know, or maybe if you want to put a storage tank or you want silos or foundation for heavy industrial equipment, maybe you want to put one machine, big machine, you know, a raft foundation is advised. You know, why must we do raft foundation? Well, before I tell you why we use raft foundation, I will first of all want to advise, most especially some of our clients of town builders they will tell you that that land is dry please if you are not a professional this is a warning don't build a house if you are not a professional consult a professional professional builders i am available if i check your project no job is too small no job is too big i'm available if you have any question i can even advise you for free but please don't do it yourself make sure you consult a professional all right so before you commence on any building foundation there are so many things that you must consider you know you must first of all do a recognizance survey what do i mean by that that is you must do what we call sightseeing at least you know the kind of area know the topography of the area know the terrain you know whether the area is um waterlogged area whether it's upland you know at least you know the topography of the area you know where you want to build all right so after that you know i know so many people don't do this next stage or if you want to build in the island anywhere you know there is a lowland area you must do this it is very very important i'm telling you don't say because of um i see uh, mr bean mr bean is building he used two board draft okay because of his using two board draft i want to do my own like that what you need to do is um, know the soil condition. So that is why I always advise to, before, before anything, I always advise you to do soil tests. Doing a soil investigation, you know, will help you tell the nature and the type of soil. You know, what, you know the, world, the way God created the world is different. You know, everywhere is not the same. Why raft foundation? You know, what circumstances do we use raft foundation? 
all right I'll, i'm going to be sharing maybe like um, let's say like three or four reasons okay all right we do rough foundation uh when the soil has a low bearing capacity you know also we do rough foundation when the ratio of the individual footings to total floor space is high that is if the footings will cover over half of the construction area then rough foundation should be used all right okay we also do rough foundation you know for large loads maybe you want to place a kind of big machine on the floor all right um like i said um in the first place there are different types of rough foundation you know um i also know that um, rough foundation is also the same as matte foundation so uh, we have different types we have the flat rough foundation we have the beam and slab rough foundation which is what you are seeing right now um, we have the circular rough foundation we have so many types okay let me just stop there each of these types of rafts um, can be employed depending on the circumstances and the design specifications you know but the commonly used one as in the one that everybody is using right now most especially in residential buildings in nigeria is the beam and slab raft foundation um let me tell you um everything you need to look out for when you're considering a raft foundation number one you, you need to consider i'm talking about in terms of um, um the money aspect the cost aspect now all right the raft foundation um, is influenced by so many factors you know number one um the cost of setting out you know we need to consider that then the environmental considerations also the member sizes you know the depth and width of the beams and slabs you know one need to consider that then the quantity of the reinforcement required you know the form work required you know and the um, how complex the construction is also the volume of the excavation required then backfilling the substructure you know you need to consider that and um, other substructure requirements such as um, compacting hardcore you know if required the improved membrane you need to consider that then what about the cost of labor which is what you are seeing right now when i will be giving you my learn and thought series foundation casting of a rough foundation everything you need to know about casting i will tell you everybody every member that you will need just like the bunkers the folders the backwaters everything you need to everything you need to know i'll be discussing when i'm talking about casting it's still going to be on this video so but um the cost of construction materials in the area you know we need to consider that all right so the thickness of the rough slab and the depth and width of the ground beam will determine the volume of concrete required for executing the rough foundation so you can see that um, the cost you know will depend on what is happening in nigeria number one price of materials are going higher and higher you know like um, i always prefer um, one used for the reinforcement i prefer we use a tiger tmt which is which has um, a very good grade depending on you know the design specifications all right um the cost of executing concrete work you know varies too you know because of the price of cement and also the aggregate aggregate which is the granite all right um reinforcement requirements um for our foundation also depends on you know the design engineer you know one needs to be looking at purchasing you know the iron bender needs to cut bend you know and install the reinforcement according to the design drawing also the carpenters will also charge you know for the cost of fixing the form work you know that's if you are using um marine boards or let's say you're using plank too so uh, let me stop here um before like in summary before the casting of the raw foundation i told you i'm going to be talking about casting you know in one of my learn and talk series just stay, just 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 be on the lookout you know very soon um in summary before we get to this level we have to first of all um do the survey like i told you about do your soil test you know after that you do your setting out after your setting out um you do excavation from excavation you blind the excavation after the blinding of the excavation um you do your reinforcement works that's the ground beam 
after that, after you do the form work for the reinforcement work for the ground beam, you do the form work for the ground beam, then concrete work for the ground beam, then you do um, backfilling and compassion. You know, you need to compact it very well. I talked about that in uh, one of my tour and lens series. You need to use a compacting machine, compact it very, very well at different levels. And also, leveling and installation of the damp-proof membrane, very important. Blinding to receive the rough slab, uh, rough slab reinforcement works, edge form work, uh, concrete works, rough slab, concrete works. Everything needs to be put into consideration. I think I have to stop um, tour and lens series 10 right now. I'm going to be talking about um, everything you need to know about casting of rough foundation in one of my series, so just stay tuned.